What's going on guys? Welcome to episode one of Level Up Your Audio Game. Now this is a series where I'm gonna share audio tips and tricks that I've learned along the way as a solo freelance videographer. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about audio, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about when you should be using a shotgun mic and when you should be using a lav mic. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I'm a freelance videographer living in Melbourne, Australia. On this channel, I share everything filmmaking related. So if you're into that sort of stuff, make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on. Okay, so first up, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of information about the two microphones. Most lav microphones are omnidirectional and what that means is that it picks up audio from every single angle. Let me show you this as an example. So this here is the Rode Wireless Go and it's got a built-in microphone on top here. Now, it picks up audio from every single angle, right? Now with a lav mic, you wanna have it as close to the audio source as possible. So if you're filming someone talking, you're gonna to wanna to clip it onto their shirt rather than clip it onto a boom or clip it onto your camera as it's gonna be really far away and you're gonna pick up heaps of background noise. I use the lav mic for about 90% of the filming that I do. They're perfect if the person is gonna be moving, if you're gonna be moving, or if you're in a busy environment and you don't wanna pick up much background noise. I feel like I'm constantly talking about this little microphone because it is absolutely perfect. It's super budget friendly and it's super small and compact that you'd be wrong not to have it in your arsenal. Here's a few sample clips using the lav mic. As you can see, the owners have put a lot of effort into making this property as low maintenance as possible. Behind every successful woman is herself. Diving into our humble warrior, I want you to hinge from the hips, dive your chest on the inside of that right leg. Now a shotgun mic is a directional mic. So the direction that it is pointing is the direction that it's gonna pick up the audio from. So these mics are great for vloggers and they're also really great for people who are doing interviews. Now you never wanna rely on the inbuilt microphone in your camera. You wanna always have one of these mounted onto your camera if you're trying to capture audio. Now same with a lav mic, you do wanna have this microphone as close to the subject as possible. Now I mentioned that this microphone is really great for vloggers and that's because when it's mounted on top of the camera, and held out at arm's reach, it's only about 30 centimeters away from the talent. And so it's gonna pick up really good audio. Now, if you're filming some interviews and your talent is about this far away from the camera, then you definitely wanna boom your microphone to get it as close to the subject as possible. Now, I'm just gonna film on my phone to show you where my microphone is placed. So I've got my light, my camera, and there's my mic there, and it is about an arm's length away. I am using the wide angle feature on my phone, but that's literally how far away it is. So my camera and my boom mic. So it's super close and it's literally just out of frame. Now, if you're in an environment where you can't get your shotgun mic on a boom arm, whether that's because you don't have the gear or it's a really busy environment, then you're better off just using a lav mic. Now, if you're pretty new to audio and don't have any gear, I highly recommend that you pick up a shotgun mic and a lav mic. Now, if you can only afford one, then you wanna have a think about which you think you'd get more use out of. I personally get a lot more use out of a lav mic, and so if I could only have one, that's what I'd pick. If you need help deciding what microphone would be best for you, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to help and answer any questions that you might have. My Instagram is right underscore visuals, but that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments and even consider subscribing to my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one.